What is going on everybody? My name is Brian and welcome to my channel. Well, I purchased this Hercules table saw uh, about a month ago or something. I did a video, an unboxing and setup video, and uh, somebody commented on the video and wanted me to show how to adjust this blade so that it's square with your deck right here. I can't remember who it was, but and I told them I was gonna do a video, so this is just gonna be a quick little video. I'm gonna show you how to adjust this blade to where it is at a 90 degree angle with your deck and also how to adjust your throat plate real quick. So. But to make this a little easier, the first thing you're gonna do is pull your throat plate off and to pull your throat plate off, it just pulls straight up. There's a little twist knob right there that locks it in place when you're using it. But you're gonna need to adjust the trunnion on the inside. And basically what a trunnion is, is that it's a way for this to be able to pivot when you tighten and loosen the four bolts, in this case, that is attaching the trunnion, two on this side and two on this side. And when you tighten and loosen those bolts, it adjusts the way this saw sets inside of this table saw so you could do this with a square but i mean you're not going to be able to get as accurate as you can as if you had like a digital angle finder right here and if you hook put a square up to this and if you can notice a big difference then you're obviously going to be able to get it pretty close and you could use feeler gauges with the square if you don't have something like this but this is relatively inexpensive about 30 dollars at lowe's or you could buy them on amazon i'll link a klein one down below it's about 30 bucks so if you don't have one man it's not that expensive to get one now you're going to have to have a point of reference when you do this and the point of reference in this case is the table itself so we're going to turn this on and we're going to zero this angle finder on the table and now that we have our angle finder on zero we're going to hook it up to the saw blade and since this is magnetic it'll stick to the saw blade Try to stay away from the teeth as much as you can. It's going to be impossible to not hit the teeth a little bit, but you don't want the teeth to affect it as much as it can affect it, which you, you'll see when you're moving this around. But try to put it in the middle of the blade. And I have about 89.9. You know, th that's pretty close to 90. And I don't think you would need to adjust it any more than that. But if you do have to adjust it, like I said, the bolts on the trunnion in this case, they're about a five millimeter Allen screw. And you can see the four bolts right here. They're up underneath the back on this side. And to get to the ones in the front of the saw, it's a little bit more difficult, especially the one on the inside right here. But it would make it a lot easier if you have a long Allen socket, you could go up from the bottom get in there but what you're going to do is you're going to put your allen socket or allen key into the bolt and you're going to tighten and loosen the trunnion bolts and you're going to watch and see what it does and obviously when you're moving it if it gets closer to 90 then you're doing great if you start getting further away then you want to put it back to where you had it now you want to keep these tight you don't want them to be completely loose so try to tighten them up and then get it close to 90. You don't want to have a screw completely loose. It's going to rattle loose. So you do want to have these tight, but once you get them all tight, then you can adjust it from there. And like I said, 89.9, 90, I can get it to move to 90. It's plenty close enough. But if yours is off at when I first got this, the actual angle was about 89.9. 89.4 so I did have to adjust it a little bit that was probably okay too but I want to get this as close to 90 as I can and since I know how to do it I'm obviously going to do it it doesn't take you very long to do so if you want my advice man go ahead and just adjust this to to get it as close to 90 as possible and we can see right there i got it 90 dead on now so if you don't have an angle finder like i said man you can use a speed square or a framing square but like i said go ahead and invest in that now to adjust the throat plate it's pretty simple pretty straightforward you're going to want to have a, something flat like a square or anything that's gonna be able to give you an idea of how flat this is. And all you're gonna do is lay it flat and run it straight across the saw. And you should 
not hit any part of the table, it should glide smoothly straight over it. And you can also take a look at when you got the square and make sure that there is no gaps in between the tabletop and the throat plate. And if you do have some, it's really simple to adjust. I don't know the exact size, but it is a socket head screw. So you're gonna need to have an Allen key or an Allen socket to be able to adjust this. But I just have a bag of small Allen keys and that's all I'm using. So to adjust it, you just simply put it in and all it is is a screw that when you tighten it, it's going to raise the throat plate up and then when you loosen it, it's going to bring it down because if you look on the bottom, you can see where the set screws come in at and all it does is screw in further or come back and it will press your throat plate into the little tabs that are sticking out on the saw to be able to either raise or lower the throat plate. So that is really simple to get. And like I said, all you're gonna have to do is just have a framing square or a something that is a straight edge that you know is true and straight to be able to tell if you need to raise or lower your throw plate. So that's gonna be it. If you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. I'll try to be as thorough as possible. And the hardest bolt that you're gonna to have to get to, like I said, is on the inside of the saw, but you just have to fiddle around and just keep messing with the bolts until you get it exactly where you're gonna to wanna to get it. You'll see how it reacts once you tighten and loosen your bolts. But I appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe below because I will have a review coming up of this and a whole lot more. So till next time, stay real.